Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. Today I'm going to talk about auto dimensioning. And it's pretty simple, uh, but easily overlooked. If you go under annotate and dimension, you can use an align dimension. Typically, what you would do is you would click along the walls or click along your objects that you want to dimension and just keep clicking along and you get a string of dimensions. But if you uh, pull down this menu bar with my mouses and you select entire walls instead of individual references, there's an options dialog that you can choose. If you choose options, there's a couple different things you can do. So I'm going to say intersecting walls. So let's check off intersecting walls. And now when I select this wall here, it's actually going to dimension to all the intersecting walls with it. So if I click here, you'll see it makes one string of dimensions. Uh, same goes for wall openings. So if I say I want to do openings and I want to do the width of the openings. If I select this wall, it'll dimension the wall, including the door, the opening, and the width. So you can see here it dimensioned everything. So that's how you use auto dimensions. Uh, it's easily overlooked, but it's a good tip.